Hello learners, this is education online program. I'm teacher Lily, going to teach chemistry, and our topic is balancing chemical equation, and it is for senior three and four. So if you see that there is balancing of chemical equation, it means what comes into your mind is to have equal number or equal amount of substances are reacting in the chemical reaction so it means that you will have the balanced chemical atoms or ions or molecules in the right hand side to be the same as the one in the left hand side so you can have uh, less number of atoms on the right hand side and more atoms on the left hand side so in this case we will have unbalanced chemical equation so this is not acceptable in chemistry so you need to have a balanced chemical equation it means you have the same number of atoms at the left hand side and the same number of atoms at the right hand side so this is usually represented by some law the conservation of mass or conservation of matters so it means if you have the same atoms at the right hand side you should have the same atom at the left hand side if in case you have uh, more atoms at the right hand side on at the left hand side and less atom at the uh, left hand right hand side then it means that there are atoms that has been displaced in the middle so this is unacceptable acceptable so you need to have the same atoms at the right hand side with the same atoms at the left hand side the same mass and the same mass at the right hand side with the one at the left hand side if in case that the mass at the left hand side is less than the mass at the right uh, right hand side then it means that there are atoms being created or there are mass that has been created which is unacceptable so that is the importance of knowing or balancing your chemical equations so learners we have to know what is this balancing chemical equation so and we are saying that you you have a balanced chemical equation it is very important in chemistry now and for the future to know the correct chemical equation first of all you need to write the correct chemical equation then afterwards you have to know also to write the correct balanced chemical equation so in this case if you have written the chemical equation badly it means you can't balance the chemical equation so here chemical equation is the balancing of chemical equation or to balance to balance a chemical chemical equation is very essential is very essential is very essential in in chemical in chemistry so in, in this matter in chemical reaction so if you have a balanced chemical equation it is so that the reaction has gone in a very uh, acceptable way so a balanced chemical e uh, equation so that you have equal number or amount or amount of substances reacting together so it means that you have equal so to have a chemical a balance to have To have a balanced, a balanced chemical, chemical equation. So to have a balanced chemical equation, it means, it means your reaction, or it means the chemical equation, the chemical reaction. chemical reaction is very acceptable
So we need to remember that a balanced chemical equation is not just for fun, but it is very important in chemical reactions. So to have a balanced chemical reaction, it means you have uh, a correct or an, ac an, an acceptable uh, chemical reaction. So the number of the atoms are very clear at the right hand side together with the left hand side. So here a chemical equation must be balanced, that is, there must be the same number of atoms of each kind of atom on each side of the chemical equation. So as I've said that here, if you have the same number of atoms at the right hand side, it should be the same number of the atom at the left hand side. So in this case, you have a balanced equation. So what is this balanced equation? If you say that you have the same balanced equation, it's simply balanced equation, balanced chemical equation is simply is simply the is simply to have to have the same number the same number of atom of atom the same number of atom or atom at the right hand the left hand side the same number of atoms at the right hand side and the left hand side. Or you can have the right hand side and the left hand side having the same number of atoms. In this case, you have a balanced chemical equation. So we have seen that here, if you are dealing with the chemical equation or balanced chemical equation, we are showing up that uh, there are steps that I use as a guide in balancing a chemical equation. So we have to have a guide, guide for balancing a chemical, a chemical equation, yeah. balancing a chemical equation. Here we have this guide as number one. The first one is to write down the unbalanced equation leaving space before each formula or symbol in order to fix the numbers later. So the first thing is to write down, write down. You write down what? You write down the unbalanced. Write down the unbalanced. The unbalanced. Write down the unbalanced equation. The unbalanced equation. After writing that, the unbalanced equation, it means you have to, after that, you leave. By leaving, by leaving what? You need to leave a space where you're going to fix numbers. It means you, when you're balancing, there are numbers that you're going to put in front of any symbol or formula of the compounds reacting. So here before it says leave, leaving space, leaving space, fix before each before each what leaving a space before each formula before each formula or symbol so here the first thing to remember is to leave a space before each symbols or formula so in this case, in order to fix the numbers later, it means we are leaving the space for us to put numbers in front of the symbols or the formulas. So the symbols, in order, 
in order in order to do it in order to fix to fix numbers later so number two yeah, so the first step is to leave it spaced before each symbol or formula in order to fix our numbers later so the second thing is to write down the total number of the different atoms in each side of the equation so write down so you write down you write down what you write down the number the total number write down the total the total number of atoms the total number of atoms the total number of atom where the total number of atoms uh, the total number of atoms on each side of the equation total number of atoms on each side on each side of the chemical equation of the chemical equation so you need to remember that uh, you write down the total number so it means you need to count the number of atoms at the right hand side and also you count the number of atoms at the left hand side so it means here we have you can also have different number of atoms at the right hand side you need to count them different number of atoms at the left hand side also you need to count them so number three is to check which atoms are not equal so after counting them it means you have now known which ones are not equal and which ones are equal so you need to check check the number the number of atoms which are not equal this matter the unequal number of atoms you need to check them so here so you fix suitable numbers in front of the symbols or formula to make the atoms on both sides equal so after checking the number of atoms which are unequal then then you do what you fix fix suitable number fix suitable suitable number suitable number at both sides both sides of the chemical chemical equation so you need to fix the numbers which are less at both sides to equalize the number of atoms so number four is to include the state symbols to show the physical state of the reactants and the product so we need to remember the physical state so you need to fix or you need to write write the state the physical state symbol the physical state symbol where you need to write it the physical state symbol or the state symbols to show the physical state the state symbols to show to show the physical the physical state of what the physical state of reactants of the reactants and and the product so in this case you have uh, you have written halfway balanced chemical equation so after 
writing the, down the unbalanced scale uh, equation by leaving space, it means you are going to fix numbers to equalize the number of atoms at the right hand side with the one at the left hand side. So write down the total number of atoms on each side of the chemical equation. So after writing down the total number, you go to check the number of atoms which are not equal. Then you fix the number which are to, to equalize the number of atoms at the right hand side with the one at the left hand side. So after that you write the state symbol which is can be either liquid which is represented by L or a small letter M or a small letter S for showing solid and a small letter G for showing gas or you can have A, Q for showing uh, aqueous solution. So in this case it will show you the physical state of the reactants and the product. So these are the steps or the guide for writing the balanced chemical equation. So now how do we balance the chemical equation? Let's consider sodium reacting with water. So we can have an example to show us how do we represent this uh, guide for balanced chemical equation. So we can have an example. So here it will represent us or it will give us a clear information about a balanced chemical equation. So let's consider sodium as an example. Let's consider sodium, which is one of the one of the elements, sodium reacting with water, reacting with water, sodium reacting with water to form, to form, to form what, to form sodium hydroxide. To form sodium hydroxide and the other byproduct is hydrogen gas which is ligated. Hydrogen hydrogen gas is ligated. Ligrated. Ligrated. So here we have sodium, which is a metal, and water, which is represented by liquid. In this case, the metal is in form of solid. So it will give us sodium hydroxide and the gas, which is hydrogen gas. So what is the first step here? We need to remember that we need to point out the reactants and the product. So it is very clear here in this example, the reactants are there and the products are there. So the first thing is to know the reactants. In this case, the reactants, the reactants are sodium, sodium and water. And the product the products are sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, and hydrogen, hydrogen gas, hydrogen gas. So here the reactants and the products are very clear there. We have seen that sodium and water are the reactants and sodium hydroxide is the product. So we have to continue so that we finish the balanced chemical equation. So we have seen that the reactants are there and the products are also written very clear. So what else do we need to put down? We need to remember the step one by one. So here the step one by one is 
it is uh, we need to write down the unbalance uh, because here hydrogen atoms are not equal on both sides. It means here we need to put down the symbols and the chemical formulas. So the first thing here is to write that sodium is represented by N A. So plus water is represented by hydrogen atom and oxygen atom. So we can have an arrow which is showing that the reaction has produced or formed this compound. So we shall have sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen, hydrogen gas, which is represented by an arrow going up. So here an arrow going up is showing that there is something being removed from uh, the reaction. So it means that there is hydrogen gas coming out from the reacting vessel. So here sodium hydroxide is one of the products and hydrogen gas is one of the products. So sodium and water here are representing the reactant. So we shall have the next step is there can only be even numbers of hydrogen atoms on each side. So when we count the number, we count the number of the atom. Here we have sodium, here one on the left hand side, and here we have one atom of sodium at the right hand, out at the left hand side together with the right hand side. So in this case we have equal number of sodium atom. So let's go to the next uh, reactant, which is water. So hydrogen atom, here we have two atoms of hydrogen, but when we come to the left hand side, the right hand side we can have hydrogen here uh, represented by three atoms. It means there are unbalanced atoms of hydrogen uh, in this form. So in this case we have also oxygen, one atom at the left hand side, we have one atom at the right hand side side. So we have an balance situation so we need to to balance the number of atoms to have a correct uh, balanced chemical equation. So we shall have to put an even number to represent uh, the chemical the balanced chemical equation. So we shall have 2 plus hydrogen gas uh, sodium uh, plus water will give us sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas light jacket. In this case, we are going to put an even number to represent uh, this balance equation. So we shall have two at the product side. So if you count now, we have two atoms of hydrogen at the left hand side, but we have four atoms of hydrogen at the right hand side. So it means still the equation is unbalanced. So now make sodium atoms equal by adding two in front of sodium on the left hand side of the equation. So we have, we add two at the left, at the product side we need also to add another one at the left hand side. So we go to step number three. We make sure that we balance. It means here we have two atoms of sodium, but here we have one atom of sodium. So we shall have sodium plus water will give us sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. So we need to continue to balance this equation. We put the two here and we have another two should be put in front of sodium so that we have two atoms of sodium and we have four atoms of two atoms of uh, oxygen gas. So here on the left hand side we have one atom of oxygen gas. So in this case we shall have an balanced 
chemical equations. It means we need to continue to balance the number of atoms. So now make sodium atom equals by adding two. We have added two. We have also to add two on each side. So now we have four atoms of hydrogen gas. Here we have also four atoms of hydrogen gas. We have two atoms of sodium on the left side, right hand side. We have also two atoms of sodium at the left hand side. So sodium and hydrogen, they are now balanced. Do we have any other atom? Yes, we have oxygen. Oxygen here we have also two atoms. And here also we have two atoms of oxygen. So in this case, we have a balanced chemical equation. Now we write down the physical state symbol. So we go to the next step and we put down the physical state symbol. So we shall have sodium plus hydrogen gas will give us sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas hydrated. So we have here water represented uh, by two moles of water, two moles of sodium hydroxide. What are the states of the matters or the physical state here? For sodium, this is a solid and we represent it by small s. For water, it's a liquid and we represent it by a small letter L. And for sodium hydroxide, this is an aqueous solution and we represent it by A, Q, and also we have hydrogen gas as represented by G, which is a small letter. So we have seen that all these state symbols are all put inside a bracket. So in this case, we have a balanced chemical equation, which is giving us that here, we have this equation, which is the last one, which is the one which is balanced. The first one is unbalanced, second one is unbalanced, third one is also is unbalanced, but here we have the correct chemical equation with the balance and number of atoms. So learners, by knowing the balance and chemical equation, we have a very correct uh, chemical reaction. So in this case, you have come out with a correct chemical equation, a correct balanced chemical equation. You need to remember that the balanced chemical equation helps to indicate a number of moles ratio. So you have seen that here we have two moles of sodium and two moles of water reacting together. So the mole ratio here is two to two. So also the product side we can have two moles of sodium hydroxide and one mole of hydrogen gas. So in this case, we have the ratio is two to one at the product side. So here the chemical equation and the balanced chemical equation are showing out the mole ratio of the chemical substances reacting. So we have also to know that it does not show the amount of the reacting substance and the product form. It is also essential to be able to assign correct formulas to substances and then balance the equation. So without giving the formulas, the correct formulas and the symbol, you may not have a balanced chemical equation or you will not be able to balance the chemical equation because actually we are balancing the atoms, the ions and uh, the number of the uh, formulas that we have at the reactant site and also at the product site. So though some equations may become familiar due to frequent uses, you can have a frequent use of a chemical equation, but it's not important or it is not advisable for you to memorize the chemical equation or the balanced chemical equation. You need to see it clearly and then you put down the right balanced chemical equation. So a balanced chemical equation is very important in chemical reaction. You need to remember the steps very well and you write a balanced chemical equation.
So with these learners, we have come to the end of this lesson. So thank you very much. Um, Tika, Lily.